Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. And welcome to it. Great to have you with us. Thanks for being here, man. We got a lot to share with you. But first, I got to start by uh, telling you about the spiritual battle that we have going on right now. Make no mistake, that's what this is. Yeah. Fighting a spiritual battle with Preborn. Preborn stands on the front lines of this battle, and their network of clinics are positioned in the highest abortion areas, often right next to abortion mills where unspeakable evil takes place every day. Preborn offers God's love and life to protect hurting women and precious preborn babies. And I really love it because not only do they double the chance that a woman is going to choose life after they show them the ultrasound, um, but then they help the mother afterwards, which is so important because that's why so many of them choose to have an abortion. They don't have any support. And they can't do this alone. They need you. That's where you come in because you're the key to success here. Your donation of just $28 can sponsor an ultrasound that doubles a baby's chance at life. If you could afford more than that, that'd be great. If you can't afford $28, whatever you can, whatever you can spare. To donate securely, dial pound 250. Say the keyword baby. That's pound 250 keyword baby. Or go to preborn.com slash pat. Gray Unleashed. Uh, so, the FBI made a request for a three and a half billion dollar headquarters because, man, if there's anybody that deserves a palatial headquarters right now, it's the FBI. Yeah. How, do we know exactly how much this headquarters is? Because I'm seeing conflicting numbers on that, um, and, and it's a really wide margin. So that thing that you're reading from, you said three and a half billion. Reason mm-hmm. magazine said that, but I'm seeing three hundred and thirty million here at other places. So I'm not three hundred and thirty exactly, million? Yeah, that's a big swing. That's there. a huge so that's maybe that's, ten that's, times the Yeah. It's a large wow. it's a large um complex. So maybe that's okay. the entirety of it, and their building is just the hmm. three hundred and thirty five million. I don't know, but I'm seeing I'd like to pin yeah, that down. That's a big discrepancy. We need to, I'd like to pin that down. Yeah, we need to. Yeah. Um, here's what Matt Gates said about this request last week. The FBI wants a massive new complex for their Washington, D.C. area-based activities. They want to spend more than $300 million on that complex. So the FBI okay. has an employee base that's about 2.3% of the United States military. Mr. Speaker, they're literally asking for something that is larger than the Pentagon. For the FBI, and so my amendment would disallow any planning, spending, distribution of funds for that purpose. I don't believe that the FBI deserves a massive new headquarters or Washington field office. No, they don't. The activities inside of Washington, the greater Washington metro area, have really driven a lot of the investigative work we have done. It's not bad folks from the FBI out at some field office in middle America or, or elsewhere in the country. It is the Washington, D.C.-based activities that have pressured other field offices for no good law enforcement reason. It's the D.C.-based entities that have suppressed credible investigative leads into criminal conduct over the objections of other bureaus and offices. And they've initiated investigations into American citizens merely for engaging in constitutionally protected speech. They've attempted to entrap members of the United States Senate by holding false classified briefings. That's testimony we got from Senators Grassley and Senator Johnson. They've also worked hard to censor factual information harmful to their preferred political candidates, notably the Hunter Biden laptop story that the FBI, based in the D.C. metro area, uh, were involved in in cajoling censorship of. Building a new headquarters would condone, reinforce, and enable the Washington field office of the Federal Bureau of Investigation's nefarious behavior. We shouldn't do it, and we should adopt this amendment to ensure that's the case. But it passed. Wait, what? It passed. It passed. Yeah, it passed. With the help, of course, of... 70 Republicans. We'll get to that in a second. But was it 300 yes. million or three and a half billion? Okay, so it's three and a half billion over the next 15 years. But that specific building is 335 million, as okay. uh, Gates just mentioned. Jeez, but man. as recently as seven months ago, Pat, that project for that building was only estimated to be 233 million. So they added 100 million in cost in the last seven months 
from when this article was written. Jeez. It's just... Uh, Incredible. It absolutely is. And again, it passed. It passed. Um, 70 Republicans. 70 Republicans. We, uh, I think we've already tweeted it out, right? We have, yeah. The Republicans who voted for this thing. But it's people like Bacon, Barr, Bentz, Bice, Bost, Buchanan, Buck, Calvert. Buck. Buck, right. Can you believe that? Calvert. Uh, Kerry, Carter, Chavez, Dreamer, Cole Des- Desposito, uh, Diaz, Ballard, Duarte, Edwards, uh, Elsie, Feenstra, Ferguson, Fitzpatrick. It's probably not fair to read some of these and not all of them, but I'm not going to go through all 70. Mm. But uh, check out our tweet, and uh, we also have a link for your particular representative. And just click on the link and yeah. see if your rep voted for this. Mine did. Yours did. Kate Granger hasn't met a big government Mm. project she doesn't like. Mine did not, fortunately. Mm. Uh, So, how about yours, uh, Chris? Yeah, I'm with Keith. You're with Keith. Yours did. Man. (laughs) It's a nightmare. I mean, what are you, stupid? And, of course, the answer is yes. Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, you are. They're stupid. (laughs) It's why we're so disgusted with Republicans so often. It's why I don't really consider myself a. Rep- I have no idea whether I, whether I actually registered as a Republican. I don't know, but I don't vote that way. Um, I vote for, and it usually turns out obviously to be a Republican because they're the more conservative choice in almost every case. But I do not identify with the Republican Party. This is one of the reasons. Yeah, yeah. You just can't count on them to do the right thing. <laughs> If there is a government agency that doesn't deserve one penny, much less the FBI every cent right that they asked for, yeah. it's the FBI. Wait, and- you're going to build a $350 million building for these douchebags right now? Really? Of all the times, man. You reward them for all this bad behavior of late. So the, Crazy. The rumors on the internets, mm-hmm. uh, and I have nothing to base this off of other than just what I'm seeing, is... Uh, <laughs> the- all right. That there might be some uh, dirt. Yeah, the FBI on, has on, some on dirt some, on, on some lawmakers. Maybe seventy Republicans. Wow, that would be shocking, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Though, wouldn't that's it be shocking? never happened in history. No, 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 they wouldn't do that. <laughs> Stephen Friend, the FBI whistleblower mm. that we've talked to, we had him on a few weeks ago. Um, he uh, he said some things. He's not happy on Twitter <laughs> after this passed. Uh, He tweeted out, last year, I brought protected whistleblower disclosures about the FBI uh, weaponization to the House GOP. They used it to go on TV and get elected. (laughs) I lost my career and am under FBI investigation. Today, the House GOP voted to give the FBI a $300 million headquarters. Soulless demons go to hell. Oh, I don't blame him. I love Steve. for being a little fired up on it. Man, That's great. That's an American that stood up, did the right thing, and then yeah. watched the lawmakers that he trusted spit do in this. his face. Mm-hmm. Just spit in his face. Then yesterday, House Democrats, with the help of a small group of Republicans, successfully blocked an effort led by Marjorie Taylor Greene. To impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas in a straight up or down vote. Huh. The border, the border is secure. Yeah, that's the guy. The, the border, uh-huh. the border is, is secure. secure. Oh, by the way. The caravan is on its way. About 7,000 people. About 7,000. Here were some of the people at the front of the line. This is not all 7,000, but this is what they were chanting yesterday. My day! 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 Isn't that catchy? Yeah. Got a great beat. Easy to dance to. My day! My Sucks. 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 Ah, jeez. Oh, there was one guy in the background I heard him saying sucks. That's weird. It sounded really good. Yeah. 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 (laughs) <laughs> good, good, uh, like a radio voice almost. <laughs> so, um, they're but they're not gonna vote. Don't be crazy. It's not like they're gonna come up here and vote for Biden. Oh, my gosh, <clears throat> that says it all mm-hmm. on who's responsible for this. Biden, Biden is the one that they're they're following his voice to the United States of America. Uh, because he, they know he's not gonna do anything about this. 
They know they're all coming into the United States of America, and uh, they'll be given free stuff, and they'll we'll find them a place to live for free, and we'll give them free food, and we'll register them to vote, and everything's going to be great for them. It's wonderful. Mm. <laughs> we're, I, not, we're not a serious country, man. Oh, I can't. I just can't believe it. I mean... And you heard all the women and children voices there, didn't you? Oh, let's hear. Yeah, listen listen carefully for all the women and children here. Biden! Biden! Yeah, Biden! I think that guy's four. Biden! 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 Yeah. Biden! 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 Yeah. A lot of chicks. Yeah, a lot of a lot of women there. A lot of chicks. Lot of I didn't chicks. hear the 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 deep voice guy saying sucks this time. Was that oh, a different you didn't recording? Hear that? Oh, let me That's listen. a different recording. Biden! You got to you got to pay attention. Biden! Biden! Sucks. Thanks for playing the original. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> so the final tally was 209 to 201. Eight Republicans. Eight Republicans on this. In the world. Joined all, of course, all Democrats in support of the uh, the motion to stop that floor vote to impeach uh, Alejandro Mayorkas. And instead, they referred the impeachment resolution introduced by Green to the uh, House Homeland Security Committee. 24 members, 12 Democrats, 12 Republicans, did not vote on the measure. Uh, the eight Republicans who joined Democrats. What is the deal with Ken Buck? <laughs> what in the... Yeah, wow. two lists he's on this yep. morning. Yep, <laughs> two crap lists, and he's on them both. Ken Buck, uh, Daryl Issa, Tom McClintock. Oh, that's the bow tie guy, right? Is that? Uh, no. No, who was the I don't no, think so. so that's Mick, uh, McHenry. I'm sorry. Right. McClintock <laughs> I'm sorry. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the guy that ran for governor, I think, in California and was the better alternative, but he didn't, he didn't make it. Uh, then Patrick Mah- McHenry. Oh, okay, there he is. There he is. I He's knew he was there. on there somewhere. He's there, of course. Uh, John Duarte. Virginia Fox, Cliff Bentz, Bentz again, and Mike Turner from Ohio. <laughs> with Republicans like this, you don't really need Democrats. And with Democrats like we have, you don't need communists. Because they got that covered. Crenshaw didn't even uh, vote. He's, oh, one, really? he's one of those. I'm looking, looking at Dan Crenshaw. I'm, I'm trying to find out who didn't vote. Uh, I can't find the list, but I saw that... Uh, I just, I just, I just, he, he didn't vote, though, huh? <laughs> we were depending on him, vote, yeah. son. But uh, Patches. Patches, I'm depending on you, son. He didn't vote. So so what you're telling me, what Kamala Harris said two years ago. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous <laughs> trek to the United States-Mexico border. Yeah. Do not come. Really? Hmm. Do not come. <laughs> They're not really heeding that advice. I guess they are come. Yeah. They are come. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They're coming. They're on the way. And it's only 7,000 more all in one fell swoop, so don't worry about it, because I'm sure we've got that completely under control. Nancy Mace didn't vote either. Why? What is going on here? I don't know. Weird. You know, I... I'll bet you the excuse they'll make is, well, we don't want retaliation when they're the majority in the House again, so I just don't want to play this game where we're going back and forth on the impeachment process. <laughs> yeah, shut up. It's just it's yeah. despicable that they don't have any giblets. Why? Democrats... Never have a problem with any of this stuff. They go after you. They go for the throat every time with the killer instinct. Well, we don't want to be like that. We want to be better than that. So let's just let all these incompetent buffoons stay in office. How about that? I mean, the, the left will, will fight tooth and nail to keep mm. a Republican Party nominee off of a presidential oh, ballot. You better believe it. But we can't even impeach. No. Uh, a derelict people Homeland not Security doing sector. their job. Right. The people not doing their job. God, it just sucks. Ugh. All right. Well, looks like we're up against uh, another government shutdown. 
uh, which is coming up Friday at midnight in our wise I'm leaders. staying up for it. Are you really? I'm going to party. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, they're going to do what they always do. They're going to they're going to approve more spending. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Lawmakers are uh, high fiving each other. Uh, meanwhile, your savings account continues to lose value because more spending weakens the dollar. End the cycle, though, in your own life. Just diversify into gold with the help of Birch Gold Group. And here's the thing. When you open a gold IRA for every $10,000 you spend, by December 22nd, Birch Gold will send you a free gold bar. Just text PAT to 989898. Claim eligibility before Black Friday. Birch Gold can help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into a gold IRA for no money out of pocket. And you still get the free gold bars. It's just awesome. It's If you've got, you know, maybe from a former employee, uh, employer, a 401k that's just sitting there collecting dust, uh, th- this would be a great time and uh, a great place to make that conversion. Don't let your savings become a victim of further devaluation of the dollar. Text PAT to 989898. Get a free info kit on gold. Go through that. And claim your eligibility before Black Friday to receive your gold bars on your qualified purchase. There's a lot to be nervous about right now. Um, So this shouldn't be one of those things. Don't worry about the uh, devaluate. Well, we all are going to worry about it anyway. But you can protect yourself and your retirement by texting Pat to 989898. Birch Gold. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. It is. All right, so we've covered uh, Congress pretty well so far. Uh, (laughs) And yesterday, Joe Biden, uh, this guy. Biden! 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 So popular with non-citizens. Biden! 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 He was in prime form again. Oh, good. Was he? Needing help from Lady McBiden. (laughs) The hospital in Gaza, the Kelly was in. Gaza, have you expressed <laughs> any specific to... concerns to Israel on that, sir? Well, uh, you uh, know, I uh, uh, not very reluctant in what? expressing what? my concerns what's going on. It's uh, concerned. Um, and it's my express. hope and expectation that uh, there will be. Uh, yeah. Less yeah. intrusive action relative to the hospital. Oh, my uh, word. Every contact. Oh, my word. And we're with, uh, with the Israelis. Also, there is an effort to uh, yeah. uh, huh. take this pause to deal with the release of prisoners. Mm-hmm. And that's being negotiated as well with the Qataris that are engaged. And uh, so I remain somewhat hopeful. But the hospital yeah. must be protected. Okay. And anything so, must be protected. Okay. Okay, we're good on here. All right. Got so yeah, so so she had to like uh, I guess repeat the the question. I mean, yeah, it so was a little bit chaotic it. in there. But did you see yeah. how CNN covered yeah. for him? He's so bad, and he looks so lost when he speaks. The mm-hmm. camera was like, you know what? Let's look at the audience. Let's do a behind the scenes shot of the press here. Yeah. You never get that shot. That's true. Yeah. Camera pan, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're covering for him. Because he looks like a buffoon. Because he is Less. a buffoon. Yeah. Let's go over here. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, let's see her nod her head. So CNN, <laughs> to cover for his ineptitude, decided uh-huh. to put the camera on another network's reporter. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good Makes job by them. Total sense. Yeah. As they're doing the propaganda duty for the administration, you might as well help him out like that. And he made a reference to uh, Kamala's apparent new job title. Now, this is a title he's given to her multiple times, (laughs) but he did it again yesterday. President Harris there to make sure we do this the right way. President Harris. (laughs) President Harris. Should we make sure we do this the right way? He was honoring the uh, Mm. Las Vegas Golden Knights. uh, Oh. Stanley Cup winners. Uh, I, I got to say, as a sports fan who has had mm. their favorite team at the White House, you you really feel jilted 
when it when it's Joe Biden up there with your team. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. just like bad. I don't like it. No. <laughs> no. It sucks so bad. <sighs> but what choice do you have? I mean, you could get the vice president, I guess. Uh, but would that be any better? You know? People so I guess I have a right to protest. We are a democracy. And we should value the voices and listen to the voices. No, what I hope is that wouldn't. we can engage in mm-hmm. conversation and discourse in a way that, is that what you hope? understands this is not binary. Mm-hmm. Not oh, to mention binary. what it means in our own country in terms of long-standing issues with anti-Semitism, which has been on the rise and even before this happened. Right. Um, Islamophobia and, and ah! other forms of hate against people just simply based on who they are or <laughs> how they pray. Yeah. Again with the Islamophobia. They can't leave that alone. They've got to make Muslims the victim here again. You know, one of them was, well, two. The the child who got killed by the freaky, out-of-his-mind uh, landlord and the mother who also got stabbed, but she survived. But that one instance... In this nation of need. 330 million people, they're going to hammer that till the end of time. That's all they need. They don't talk about any of the deaths on the Jewish side. They don't talk about any of the threatening that people have done to Jews and continue to do to them every day. By the way, there's that huge rally in D.C. today. Please attend if you can, especially if you're in that area. If you're anywhere in that area, uh, go to D.C. and support them because we got to show the world that you know, Israel and Jews are being supported in this country. And that's the support for Israel rally happening today. Up yeah. There. Yeah. And there's also on Capitol Hill, um, when they're not, you know, busy voting for uh, multi-million dollar FBI projects or mm-hmm. getting uh, terrible Homeland Security secretaries off the hook, they're also doing, uh, they, they are actually, the House is going to have a hearing on anti-Semitism. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that today so yeah yep uh also over the weekend we we showed you yesterday uh joe biden at the tomb of the unknown soldier and how lost he was he had no idea what he was doing where to go what to do you know he was briefed on it right before the event and he's been president at this time of year before he should know what to do by now Right? Didn't he just do it last year? Yeah. I. It's. And he can't. He still can't. So, uh, anyway, he did that fake jog. Uh, also, yesterday we showed you that. Uh, somebody sent us a, mont- a montage of some yeah, are these, of Biden's many falls. I don't, I don't know that this is comprehensive, all of his falls. Let's see. Here. It, would, it would take the whole show to do something <laughs> comprehensive, so I'm sure it's not. <laughs> But here's some of what we've witnessed. Okay. Oh, 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 oh now oh. I'm pretending. Oh, oh boy. And down oh. he went on the bike. Oh, up the stairs. Ooh. That's a triple play here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that had to hurt. And there he goes again. Almost. Oh, 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 oh. There's another one. Oh, no, this is the oh. mother of them all. That's a bad one. He tripped over the sandbag. <laughs> and again, that's not a comprehensive list. But no. thank you for that, because that's we got to keep that on. Keep that at the handy, at the ready, mm-hmm. if you would, because, jeez. One time, it happened once with Gerald Ford, <laughs> and he never heard the end of it. I mean, Saturday Night Live picked up on that, and they ran with it for years. <laughs> Chevy Chase made that a career the, out of that it. That was the bit. Yeah, that was his thing. <laughs> That's how he rose to fame, was falling like Gerald Ford, who fell once. Um, can you imagine how if Saturday Night Live was still doing their job, was still making fun of presidents? Can you imagine mm. what kind of bit that would be with Biden? Come on. You got dementia. You got just basic old age. You've got stupidity. You've got the gaffes. You've got the falling. And they don't they do not do any of it. No. They don't do it. And if memory serves, wasn't the Gerald Ford fall in the rain? Mm, I'm not sure. I think he was holding Could an be. umbrella or something. Might be. I gotta find that. But he tripped. Was it? Was it coming off of Air Force? Yeah. Air Force One, if I re- remember correctly. 
I don't know. Maybe we could dig that up and show it again. But speaking of terrible, terrible Democrats, um, here's the actual clip of California Governor Gavin Newsom. Oh, yeah. Owning up to San Francisco, cleaning its streets for China's visit. This is kind of amazing. I think we briefly touched on this yesterday, but here's the actual video of him admitting, yeah, we cleaned it up for Xi Jinping. I know folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, That's true because it's true. (laughs) Oh, but it's also true for months and months and months prior to APEC. Uh We've been having different conversations. Okay. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, it's true. Nobody knows. But we've also had different conversations. Oh, so you've talked about other things as well? <laughs> okay. I should hope so. You're not just I talking hope. about yeah. cleaning up your streets. <laughs> uh, I hope there's something else going on in your oh, life. Weird thing. But yeah, for months now, uh, we've had other conversations too. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? So have we, actually. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> We're in the same boat. Man, he, <laughs> man of the people. We so have something in common. Weird. We've been talking about other things. Then yesterday, he doubled down. Mm-hmm. Anytime you put on an event, by definition, you know, you, you have people over your house. You're going to clean up the house. You have 21 <laughs> world leaders. You've got tens of thousands of people coming from all uh, around the globe. Yeah. And what an opportunity to showcase yeah. the world's most extraordinary place, San Francisco. Yeah, not hardly. Um so you don't give a rat's anus about the people in the house that are there all the time, but only when company comes, now we're going to clean it up. Well, in that house, they've been having other conversations about stuff. Oh, okay. Well, good. Then that's, so that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oof. All right. Did you find, you did. found the yeah, Gerald yeah, Ford look at trip? This. Look at this. Here he is. Okay. I, I assume, isn't this the only one? I think it is. That he fell? I mean. Yeah, he is carrying a. They got an umbrella. They're coming down the steps. What's this? Air Force One. And whoopsie oh, daisies. Oh, bro. He apparently didn't see that last, uh, didn't account for the step. last step. But he was holding the, the umbrella for him and his wife. Yeah. But man, that was the funniest thing of all time. What a klutz. What an idiot. What a moron. <laughs> We're going to make fun of that for decades. And they have. And they have. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, plus another terrible Democrat, uh, Sheila Jackson Lee, who's running for mayor of Houston. She talked about where her support is coming from. Yeah, this is just a fun little clip because okay. she can't pronounce a certain word. Oh, all right. Good. So we're we want to create an yes. entertainment okay. complex. Oh, entertainment for complex. film, uh, for music, mm-hmm. for theater, for the performing and visual arts. And when I say that in yeah. front of our Gen Z and Millenniums, they're ready to stay millenniums. and they're ready to help me build this city. Gen Z Millenniums. millenniums. <laughs> Go back about 10 seconds. Let's hear how she pronounces that again. Cause... But boy, Houston, did you catch that? You're getting an art center if you hire her to be your mayor. No. Gen Z and Millenniums, they're ready to stay. I can't even say it the way she said And it sounded like she said Gen Z Millenniums. Millenniums. All right. She, but she'll be a terrific mayor yeah. for you, Houston. Does anybody doubt that she's going to win that race? Uh, probably runoff? not. When is the runoff? It's always early December. Yeah. I'd say 5th or 6th. <sighs> 5th? December 5th would be my guess. Yeah. How are we doing on that? Hmm? I, no, I'm just... You don't. No, yeah, uh, no. Ninth. Ninth. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Is the ninth a Saturday? It's always a Saturday. Yeah. I can't stand... Interesting. When Because we used to live in Houston, and I don't know. There's something about Saturday voting that makes me like think it. third world nation. Yeah, I don't like it. And a lot of people say, no, it makes sense on the weekend because you don't have to work. It does, kind of, right? Most people are off. Right. But that doesn't, I don't know. It, it has For some that, reason, it rings false to it, me. It has that stench of being what <laughs> they does. do in the third world. Which is perfect. Weekend voting. we're almost a third world nation uh, now. And Houston so. is well on its way. Yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. And don't forget, uh, coming up, I'm so excited, uh, speaking of weekend elections, uh, coming up uh, Sunday, I think, right, is that uh, libertarian guy... Uh, Running down in, um, it's Argentina, right? It's Argentina. Oh. Is that right? The, the, mo- yeah, right. Mila- the, mo- money- the you know, the guy, guy? Javier. Yeah. Mo- <laughs> 888 <laughs> more Pat Gray Unleashed is inevitable. Pat Gray Unleashed.
take a quick minute and tell you about iTarget Pro. There's a lot to be nervous about right now. You know, open up social media or turn on the news. All you see is crime, societal decay. And so people just run out and buy a gun to protect themselves. And then it just sits in a safe somewhere. So if there's ever an emergency, they're just not ready. They're not prepared. And you run the risk when that happens of hurting yourself or others. There's no way around it. You've got to train often. Unfortunately, it's time-consuming to go to the range. It's also expensive. You know, assuming there's even a range nearby, ammo is through the roof. Well, iTarget Pro was invented so you could practice any time in the safety and convenience of your own home. Simply download the iTarget Pro app. You load your caliber-specific laser bullet into the firearm, and you start training. So you can practice alone, you can compete with friends, or use it to safely train your family members, your kids who are new to firearms. Go to itargetpro.com. You'll get 10% off at checkout when you use the offer code pad. It's the smartest, safest way to train, really inexpensive, pays for itself in like one visit to the range. Uh, and that's why competitive shooters trust dry fire training as part of their regiment. So get yours today. Letter I, then targetpro.com, itargetpro.com. Offer code pad. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Some tweets here. Wayward pirate. Uh, for those who voted to give the FBI a new building, compare them to the I- Epstein list. Yeah, when am I going to get that? FBI must have dirt on them. Hmm. Yeah, that's the rumor that they've got dirt. I don't know if it's the Epstein thing or something else or combination. Who knows? But yeah, some people that you wouldn't expect to vote for this voted for this. Lone Wolf 2965. FBI needs a new building because their current one doesn't have subterranean dungeons and torture chambers. Oh, and you need those. Well, for the J6 people. Documented ones. Right. That's true. Uh, Tamara B., Alejandro Mayorkas has secured our southern border. The problem is that he thinks our border is down by Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vin M., the Republican no-shows on Mayorkas impeachment vote. WTF. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you being represented? No. Uh, Gamma Ray Barfberger. <laughs> wow. Party like it's government shutdown time. Oh, yeah. And from Bob Corona. I guess it was wrong. Biden can indeed draw a crowd. Well, yeah, he, he drew this this crowd. Mm-hmm. Uh, Biden! 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 Right. Biden! Yeah. Biden! So good to hear all those women and children, isn't it? Uh, cheering for Biden for our president. It's wonderful. <laughs> it really does the heart good. And uh, speaking of the Biden family, yesterday photos of the cocaine at the White House, remember that? Mm. Uh, hasn't been mentioned in a good long time, but they finally released a photo of what they found. Wow. Of course, there's no evidence. They just have no idea. If only if only there were, I don't mm. know, cameras at mm. the White House where you could... Oh, you want cameras at yeah, the White House? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that maybe... You know, you could put cameras in there, and then you'd see or, who's coming and going and whatnot and so forth, and maybe protect the president a little bit chances? better that way. I don't know. I don't yep, know. I, I bet they'll change because of this. Now they'll you probably think so? put, some, maybe cameras put in some cameras in there. The most important huh. building in our government. It's kind of weird that they hadn't thought of that up until now. Huh. Yeah, but, it is. Uh, yeah, That's one of those things yeah, you figure. weird. I, th- I, huh. I, I thought they had cameras and surveillance at the White House. You would have thought that base would have been covered. Yeah. But you know what? Something like this happens, and they're going to change policy now, probably. <laughs> the placement of that cocaine bag mm-hmm. seems a little sus. Yeah, it does why, it? Why is it, like, right at the lip? <laughs> it's because like, Hunter like, was getting all of his stuff in his pockets, and uh-huh. he was pulling everything from the back of oh, that okay. bin to the okay. front, uh-huh. and he's like, oh, I got everything I need here. Huh. Mm-hmm. And he probably has so much cocaine on him. That it's easy to misplace a little baggie. Yeah. Number 50. That was the box that it was at. Mm. Box Conspe- 50. Conspiracy theories. Tell mm. me something. What's 50? What's the number 50 mean? 
Mm. I want to know. Means you're halfway to 100. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's one. How many states there are? And it's uh, seven inches yeah. wide. So okay. there's another number there. Another, uh, n- another number. So this is actually <laughs> just a good band name. Box 50. <laughs> right? Right. Too, too close to Matchbox 20. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, we talked about the terrible anti-Semitism that's showing up at these pro-Hamas rallies uh, here and all over the Western world. Yeah, It's also prevalent on college campuses, of course, like Ivy League schools like uh, Columbia, where a Jewish speaker was set to appear, and here's what happened there. Oh, no. How are you doing today? I'm f***ing awful because you're here. This is <laughs> defamation. This is what? libel. And you what? are responsible for all of this waste of money, mm-hmm. energy, resources, yeah. and my education. Being really? brown does not equal being anti-Semitic. Being against Israel does not equal being anti-Semitic. Did we ever say that? Uh, well, half these people are just brown. <laughs> what? Does that mean they're anti-Semitic? I didn't pick the ethnicity of the signers. You need to get the hell out of yeah. here. This <laughs> is evil. It's evil. It's mm. evil. Now you're the evil that one. Is. Having a fit. That's why I got to cover it up. Unreal. Like I did. God. What color does the skin have to be of someone that I can call an anti-Semite? Can I call white people anti-Semitic? Well, sure. But yeah. not brown people? You can, if they did something. Who's responsible for the terrorist acts that occurred in Israel? Who's responsible? That's what I'm talking about. I'm asking, who's responsible? Nice about kerchief. You being on campus when you shouldn't be. Is Hamas responsible, or is Israel responsible? What are you here to talk about? Fun fact! I told you oh, already! Oh, man. Good. Gosh. ColumbiaHatesJews.com Oh, wow. My gosh. Mm. The stupidity, the sheer ignorance of these kids that are attending Columbia in the Ivy League. And they can't see past the nose on their face. Wow. New York realizes they have an anti-Semitic problem playing out. On the streets every weekend, mm-hmm. Governor uh, Kathy Hochul talked about monitoring online data and communications. Uh-oh. Watch this. Also, we're very focused on the data we're collecting from surveillance efforts. What's mm. being said on social media platforms. Mm. And mm-hmm. we have and? launched an effort to be able to counter some of the negativity and reach out to people when uh-huh. we see hate speech being spoken about on, on online platforms. Our media analysis, uh-huh. our social media analysis unit uh-huh. has ramped up its monitoring of sites to catch incitement to violence right. direct threats to others okay and all this is mm. uh. in response to our desire uh. our strong commitment <laughs> uh-huh. to ensure that not only do new yorkers Hello. be safe right. but they also feel safe be because safe personal security is about safe. everything for them right. as i said no one walking down the street or in a subway right should feel they have to find to hide you should find or hide they, any shouldn't... indications of what their religious beliefs are uh-huh we expect to see people celebrating their lives, uh-huh. walking about freely. Do you? And that is no longer the case because people are living in fear. Mm. Yeah. They have a right to do whatever they want here in the state of New York. Here you go. Within reason. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, within reason. I see. Sorry. So, I mean, don't be ridiculous. They can't carry a gun. They don't have that right. <laughs> what are you, insane? Some sort of kooky constitution guy? Can I put salt on my french fries in that? See? No, no, no. Also, you can't have any soda because it's not good for you. Look, we're trying to help you. Okay? Can I have a straw? No, Mm-mm, that kills you. The ducks and turtles and whatnot and so forth. Ducks and turtles all die when you uh, use a straw. Wait, now ducks are yeah ducks dumb. They're going too? extinct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Can I just say that? You know what that sounds like <clears throat> is the Patriot Act. Look, we're mm. going to do this because, you know... It's for your own safety. It's a dangerous time in yeah. America. And yeah, do you want to be safe or do you want to die? And then Which do you want? Or you know what? They're they're monitoring someone for putting a meme up about uh, how to vote for Hillary Clinton. Yeah. My gosh. Seven months in jail for a meme. And as always, if you're that stupid, you shouldn't be voting... There's, there's no way people would buy into that, would they? You can't. Of course, I don't know. Maybe in this day and age, you, you might think, okay, I'll just text Hillary to this number, and that will be my vote. I, why not, I guess? 
really, when you think about it, when they've got all these Dropbox locations, those must go away. That was honestly must. A, a big threat. I think that meme actually, even though it wasn't from this, you know, multi-million follower account, I think that... Um, well, first of all, I know Democrats look at their voters as being complete and total idiots. Otherwise, yeah. they're not going to get their votes. Yeah. And so they could see something like this uh, spreading. Like, oh, yeah, I already voted for Hillary. I just sent a text to this number here. What's that number? Oh, yeah, let me. Yeah, I voted and for it. And then it spreads like wildfire before you know it. Um, <laughs> and you never stop sure. and think, well, wait a minute. What about the rest of my votes? Oh. How are they going to know about those? Are there, is there anybody? Don't, just don't think about that. Are there are other people on yeah, the ballot? Yeah, there's other people on the ballot. There's other issues on the ballot. Mm. It's not just the presidential election. Well, based on how some of those uh, 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 <laughs> ballots were tabulated, uh -huh. apparently there weren't more than just one person on the ballot. <laughs> you better be careful, Keith, or the, mm. the, you know, the police, the FBI, the CIA, the NCAA, they're all coming for you. I got news they're for all you. Coming I'm for already you. on those lists. Uh, in the regime's relentless campaign to cast MAGA supporters as domestic terrorists, yeah. uh, the new police state has staged quite a hellish show on yet another J6 suspect. They deployed a terrorism task force, which included helicopters and armed SWAT teams multiple to pursue one of the participants with the same zeal you might expect if you were looking for the head of Hamas or Al Qaeda you might expect you might in, but, in a normal world yeah we're not gonna I mean please uh, the left supports Hamas so we wouldn't really do that for a Hamas supporter but the j6 you know people the who almost caused democracy to die that day boy. They deserve all of this. Uh, they continued their search of this guy uh, in a section of New Jer the New Jersey woods because uh, they want to arrest a guy named Gregory Yetman. Um, and he apparently saw them coming and he ran out and jumped over a fence and they haven't been able to find him. So this this man, this insurrectionist is still on the loose. Be careful, New Jersey residents. I wouldn't even go outside today. I really wouldn't. Don't go outside with this madman, this insurrectionist on the loose. <laughs> it's in Middle Middlesex County, okay. the town of Helmetta. All right. Tactical teams could be seen in the backyard of homes. There was a chopper that uh, showed law enforcement searching one property in a shed. The heavily armed teams set off a... <laughs> They set off flashbang grenades, part of the search. Uh, so That's their calling card. Yeah. Yep. It was not immediately clear what specific charges Yetman is facing, but I'll bet you he either paraded mm -hmm. or milled. And he may have done both. There might have been some parading and milling. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a, that's a twofer. You would think the guy killed somebody, though. And by the way, nobody was killed by anybody in that in that protest. The only people who who died died at the hands of authorities. So, oh, thankfully he has surrendered. Oh, he did surrender now. Yes. We do have him in custody. Yeah. Whoo, that was a right. close one. That was. Whoo, wait, does it say what they're charging him with? Um. <clears throat> Uh, I'm glad we got that did, update. Did your story say it was at seven a.m. Because it had to have been seven a.m. Right? Yeah. 7 a.m. That, that's what they do. Early in the morning. Uh, yeah, because they want you asleep, disoriented. <laughs> they want you to take a shot at them my, so they can shoot back and kill you dead my right day, where you stand. My day's half over at 7 a.m. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see here. Um, violence? Uh, let's see. Did he do, did he do violence? Uh, if he's responsible for violence, you know, if he attacked police or, or anyone, then, yeah, okay arrest the guy but you know it's been two years now two and a half years you couldn't find him before now <laughs> jeez but i think that's just a, a a general alert for anybody that lives in new jersey that you gave earlier if you live in new jersey mm -hmm. don't go outside yeah it's, just, it's not safe never mind j6 stuff going on it's just ugh. according to the the person who wrote this this over-the-top display shines a light on the left's police state aspirations right 
Honestly, we're not that different from North Korea or China right now. Mm -hmm. Except our propaganda game is a lot stronger. (laughs) And that's really true. We do way better propaganda than North Korea or China. It's believable propaganda. Honestly, uh, I I read this book uh, from someone who escaped North Korea. And you would have to keep, like right now, I mean, residents, citizens of North Korea have to keep a picture of Dear Leader uh, hanging in their house. Yeah. And it has to be... Yeah, prominent. It has to be prominent. It has to be clean. Mm -hmm. You have to keep that thing up. Because if they find you without it, right, or if you're in trouble, you're going to a prison camp. Smudge on this frame, you're coming with us. I mean, or, is that that far fetched to think that could happen? That's here? what I'm saying. I mean, I don't think it is. Oh, gee, I don't is think that? it is. All right, let me tell you about Eden Pure thunderstorms because if you have odors in your home that you haven't been able to get rid of, now you can get rid of anything, yeah. any kind of odor that is offensive to you with the Eden Pure Thunderstorm air purifier. You always got to plan ahead before you invite Jeffy over. I hear exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. Thunderstorm gets rid of strong odors from Jeffy, from <laughs> cooking, from cigarette smoke, litter boxes, trash cans, whatever is, you know, offending you. Scent-wise, the thunderstorm starts working in seconds to clear it completely out. And there's no filters to change. You can see filters wouldn't even... They'd have to be really tiny filters to fit into this. But you just... You simply pop up the plug-in, plug it into the wall, right. turn it on, you're done. I mean, you, That easy. You knew me at a time in my life when I was young and I was confused and I owned a high watermark of four cats at once. Oh, I, if, I do if remember I, those if days. If I were living in that world again, I would, I would park one of those right above the litter box. It's a great idea. Mm-hmm. They've sold over 350,000 of these already. Wow. Thousands of five-star reviews. It's because it works. People love it. And this week, we've got a great deal for you on the uh, your own Eden Pure Thunderstorm. You can save $200 on three of them for whole home protection. Three units under $200. Just go to EdenPureDeals.com. Enter the discount code, Pat. That's E-D-E-N. EdenPureDeals.com. Discount code, Pat. And your shipping is free as always with Eden Pure Deals. Uh, we got to share some uh, Secret Service agents firing on people trying to protect uh, the president's granddaughter. We got that to tell you about. Also, Hillary Kennedy will join us a little over half an hour from now on Pat Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray Unleashed. Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Some tweets here for you. Uh, Hildy Krish tweets, watching your show this morning about President Ford uh, falling brings back memories. It's that last step that gets you. Mm-hmm. I'm speaking from experience. That's why when we... Ford, the year seemed full of snag. Oh, and here it is. Oh, boy. Uh, as a matter of fact. Oh, boy. And easy, easy, easy. Keep easy. in mind. Ooh, yeah, you missed that last step. Bro. Eh, so boy. the tweeter is saying, uh, speaking from experience, uh, and... That's why they moved to North Carolina, bought a ranch-style house. <laughs> no stairs. I respect that. Okay. <laughs> Anonymous F35, I said it before, I say it again. Teacher says... Teacher says every time a bell rings, Republicans disappoint their constituents. That's right. That's right. Sorry. Sorry. That's right, Suzu. Out of out of girl. I, that's we, right. The, 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 that, that's right. Exactly. We are conditioned on this. Our brains are yep. wired. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oliver <laughs> Klusov. Tweets, uh, so they found a bag of cocaine in a locker that has a number on it. Right. Don't they keep a log of who has what lockbox? Mm. McGruff would have solved this in no time. No, it's unsolvable. That's not true. It's unsolvable. There's no evidence. Absolutely none. Besides, this McGruff is uh, too busy pushing the... Uh the trans agenda or whatever it was. Remember how we were disappointed? Yeah. Like We looked up his tweets. Oh, whoever's, right. whoever's running the McGruff account these days yeah. has uh, neutered uh, that dog. <laughs> Sloth and gluttony awareness. Why does Kathy Hochul sound like Biden? 
and her eyebrows are way off. Oh, let's see. I, I didn't catch her I, eyebrows. I didn't either. Can we get like a still shot of Eyebrow Central? Huh. Probably never as bad as, uh, oh yeah, as Justin Trudeau's. Remember that time his eyebrows were like, I don't know if they were singed off and he had fake eyebrows that were crooked. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Wait. That's not good. What happened? Wait, you've, you've... I've done that. I've done that. I still haven't grown... Wait, this is real. ...some eyebrows back, yeah. When did, uh, what happened? I just When? Got too close to the barbecue when I turned it on. I'm like, why are you turning... Oh, bro. Yeah. When did that happen? Oh, it's been a while. Like... Months. Oh, it's... Yeah, months ago. I, we didn't talk about this on no, the show. I don't think we did. I don't think we noticed. I certainly didn't notice. <laughs> Kudos yeah, well, to you. I have because I know how far they used to come over this way. Oh, you know? my word. So it's not alopecia. No, not going not. Through alopecia. I hope not. Okay. Oh no, that goodness. would suck. How were the burgers that day when, when all was said and done? I mean, tasted a little hairy, actually. <laughs> 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 Messed up wood. Uh, the 50 is for the 50th president of the United States, President. Hunter Biden. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. On the lockbox. That's what that, that's all about. Yeah, okay, uh, good. Yeah, I don't think Obama's going to relinquish power to Hunter. No, 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 no. We've got to end the power that uh, that Barack Obama and Big Mike have in this country, <laughs> though. <laughs> By bringing in a Republican. President, my boss. Can we stop with that? Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what? I, I just read something. Uh... I guess I printed it up. Is it about Big Mike? It's not about Big Mike. Man. No, mm. I'm sorry. No? Darn it. No. I, I like the those. Big Mike discussion. Me too. That should be one of our conspiracies, maybe. Maybe one of our Friday shows. Ooh, uh, by the way, we've got uh, the, the What's whole... What's that face for, Keith? We're going to do a show about uh, Michelle Obama's junk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we've got... Uh, we have JFK coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. That should be really good. So we're going to, what, explore all the different theories? Yeah, yes. I think so. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And who are the guys that are coming in? They're going to be in studio. So They are going to be in studio. should be really fun. Yeah. Thank, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll Find the you. names. Yeah. yeah. So, we'll give them a little credit here. Uh, so I was, I forget, anyway, the, the 2024 <laughs> spending, presidential mm -hmm. race spending against candidates. So when you single out a candidate, mm -hmm. which presidential candidate um, that is declared for 2024, do you think, has had the most money spent against them to this point? By Republicans or Democrats or just Across overall? Across the board. Across the board. Mm, I'm going to say DeSantis. DeSantis, you're right. $25 million spent against him. I wish I could find this. I, they're afraid of him. $25 yeah, million spent against him. him um, and it was $20 million, I think, against Biden and $18 million against Trump. You have to make Ron DeSantis look bad. You you have to disparage him because he's done, I think, a really good job in Florida. Now, we had a Florida resident call in last week and say, I don't think he's a good governor. Okay, well, the vast majority of Floridians apparently do right. since he won by 20 points in the last election. Um, but how do you combat that? Yeah. I tell you, looking back on the 2000 election, what a blessing in disguise that was for the state of Florida. Yeah. To get it together right. with their electoral system and and mm -hmm. not fall prey like so many other states have with fraud and, mm -hmm. and suspicion and questions about the integrity of their votes. No one's questioned the integrity of Florida's votes uh, not that I've in heard. recent years. Um, they locked that down before, George so um, before uh, 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 some forces got involved with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with uh, manipulating uh, outcomes, uh, potentially. Yeah. But honestly, I mean, here's just a question for the typical GOP voter. Like, what do you have against Ron DeSantis? <laughs> like, I, I just, I'm curious what, what it is about him that is, that is making you not pull the lever for him. Is it just because he's not Trump? I think is, that, is that is that literally the biggest strike against Ron DeSantis? Like, what is for a I, lot of people convinced that, me. that is, <clears throat> and he wasn't loyal to Trump because okay, so, he's running. Okay, so so he's not loyal to Trump. Yeah, that's his biggest mark against. Seems him. like not a policy thing. I mean, I, just a I don't know. Maybe really big Trump supporters can call us and and tell us what you have against Ron DeSantis. What do you do? And and. No, I just I'd love to hear that. I just want to hear Triple well, Eight. Tell me why I should seven, not vote for Ron DeSantis. Triple Eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three is the number to call. I I would love to hear from really strong Trump supporters. Right. What it is you don't like about Ron DeSantis? Because see, my vote, uh, my primary vote is now up for grabs again. 
because my original plan was to vote for RFK <clears throat> in the Democrat primary mm -hmm. because I want Joe Biden eliminated from this contest as quickly as possible. Now he's not running now in he's that an capacity, independent. so yeah. So tell me why I should not vote for Ron DeSantis. Did you see the article? He is at historic levels for a third-party candidate at this time uh, of the campaign. RFK, right. RFK is uh, he's polling at around 19 or 20 percent right now. In fact, I think the poll that they were referencing was 22%. So we haven't seen those kind of numbers uh, at all, except for Ross Perot back in 92. That's about yeah. it. If he, and That's the only other benchmark you have to go on because uh, third-party candidates just don't do well. Honestly, it's, it's, he will have an impact on this election. Yeah, one way or the other. One, because, I mean, even mm -hmm. it was Jill Stein, right? Yeah, she uh, jumped in, in too. Uh, well, well uh, no, Ralph Nader in 2000, right? Yes, he, it was. He yeah. affected that razor thin, razor thin outcome between Gore and Bush. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah. So, so that was much smaller scale as far as number mm -hmm. of votes compared to what RFK mm -hmm. is polling at. This is going to be so And what you get last time, 1%, that, that might even be enough to sway the election. Oh, oh, yeah, actually, she had an effect on the Hillary Clinton versus Donald mm -hmm. Trump. Yes. Yeah. So it doesn't take much. It doesn't. In, in, in these uh, So elections. even if he doesn't, let's say he doesn't get 22%, he gets 12. That's still humongous, yeah. depending on who he's taking the votes from. That's the, that's the thing. And we don't know from whence those votes are going to come. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know, because he's, he's done a good job. Uh, with conservatives, because conservatives who are confused and they don't know who to vote for and they're hearing what he is saying, uh, and they like what they hear in, in, on some issues, yeah. like the pandemic, of course. So, Carol Roth. The vaccine. Uh, yeah, right, right. He, there, there are some issues that he really speaks to mm -hmm. um, freedom-loving Americans and to other issues, not at all. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Carol Roth, uh, I saw her uh, point this out on Twitter last night. Um, she was praising um, RFK's first tweet, but the second tweet she was dismantling. So it was something along the lines of, like, here's RFK. Uh, Moody's downgrading the credit outlook for the United States to negative because of economic weakness, huge deficits, and rising financing costs. Uh, last week's disastrous 30-year Treasury auction underscores the erosion of faith in the credit of the United States. That was tweet one. Mm -hmm. Now, the rest of the story... <laughs> As president, RFK Jr., okay. I will turn the ship around oh. by addressing the root of the problem. All right. Excessive military spending. Oh, my gosh, no. And the neglect of Dude. America's infrastructure and domestic economy. No. Okay. Oh. Um, wow. Uh, I, I don't mind your what you're saying about Ukraine. Right. But I really... I think our military needs some attention right now. You bet it does. We don't need to be slashing military spending. Have you seen what's happening in the world? Yeah. And what we've been doing with our military equipment and supplies. And that's the problem with RFK Jr. He's he's good on some things. He's really, really bad on others. Like climate change, terrible. Abortion, terrible. So just keep that in mind. I mean, many other things. Fiscally, he wants to gut the military spending. No, thank you. Uh, I don't know. It's it's going to be a tough campaign. It's going to be interesting to see. In some polls, it helps Trump. In others, it helps uh, Biden. So I don't know what's going to come out there. I do not know. Let's go to Jennifer in uh, in Georgia. Hey, Jennifer. Pat, how are you? Hey. Go ahead. Hey. So. Okay, so here's the thing. I was telling the folks, it's not so much what DeSantis has done. Um, it's more the people backing him. So we live in Fulton County, Georgia, the hotbed of voter corruption. Okay. Um, but we, we love Ron DeSantis. My husband and I, we loved him, loved what he's done in Florida. Yeah. You know, he says all the right things. Um, but, and we're, I was looking forward to voting for him in 2028. <laughs> the concern is who's backing him, right? It's the Bush, Rhino, crowd so you have to just mm. ask yourself who will he be beholden to if he gets into office so i think that's more the concern it's not a a mm. personal thing although it's a choice he's made right that's the crowd backing him so i would say for us anyways that would be a reason so does, does that mean your guy is trump 
Uh, yeah, my guy is Trump. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, and I didn't vote for him in 2016, but I couldn't wait to vote for him in 2020 because I just wasn't sure what he was going to do yeah. in 2016, right? Was he going to take it seriously? Then about nine months in, mm. couldn't wait for 2020. So yeah, I it was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, he can, I think he's the one. I like DeSantis, but I think we need a bull in a china shop right now. And I think he's the one that's going to just slam into it and, and knock down what we need knocked down. Yeah. So, okay. Jennifer, I've got a quick question. I think the timing is wrong. Timing's wrong? <laughs> okay. So you, you said that you were a fan of Ron DeSantis uh, initially, yeah. right? Okay. Um, but your concern is who is backing him. Is that right? Yeah. So yeah. So... Is it fair to say that the same people that are backing him, um, I guess, uh, are, are are doing so for 2024? But obviously, is he is he already being influenced? Do you think by these backers, uh, or or you're saying that he wouldn't you wouldn't see that until 2025? Well, I think he, I think Ron DeSantis is a smart guy, so I think he has to understand who he's getting into bed with. Right. I, that's that's the piece. So I don't know. Is there any policy now? thing that you see don't being know. influenced by his backers presently that turn you off? Uh, no, because I don't think he's necessarily being uh, influenced right this minute. Although some oh. of the things he says, sometimes you think, hmm, okay. you know, he kind of toes the line as opposed to being more right of the line. And I think that's to appease the rhino crowd. So, OK. Yeah, that, that right. that's the big thing. I think it's 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 the backers more than than the man. But then you have to question. And you you have you have no problem with any of Trump's backers, or the fact that he has backed um, some pretty bad candidates in the past himself. Oh well, yes, I do. That's why I didn't vote for him in twenty sixteen. <laughs> okay, right, right, right. Okay. Because I thought you know he what this is all show. He's talking a great game, saying the right things, but he's not going to do a darn thing once he gets into office. Yeah, but, but he, he did. Proved me wrong. He, he kept his promises, what he said he was going to do and what mm. he tried to do, but yeah. Ryan killed most of that. Um, he, he did. So, And maybe I'm wrong on DeSantis. Mm. You know, maybe he won't be beholden, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm kind of uh, doubting Thomas, as it were. Right? Well, Show and me. Trump is a known, <laughs> is a known <laughs> commodity, right? You've seen what he did in office. So... Yeah, that kind of makes some sense. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jennifer. Um, I'm not sure I, I, I agree that I don't know that he would uh, twist his policies to fit his donors because I haven't seen any evidence of that so far, necessarily. Yeah. Uh, but that's interesting. All right. More of your calls. Uh And, of course, Hillary Kennedy coming up in just a few minutes, like 15 minutes from now. First, let me tell you about uh, Fume. Cold turkey is great on sandwiches after Thanksgiving Day. But there's a better way to break your bad habits, uh, and it's fume. You develop these habits, and there's all kinds of things that come with them. Just, you know, the, you get the feel of something. Uh, Jeffy's talked about it a million times. I've never understood the cigarette situation, <laughs> but apparently it's all. It becomes really familiar and really enjoyable for people. The feel of it, the... Uh, the taste of that wonderful smoke that's filling your lungs and the tar and nicotine and rat poison that's coursing through your body. <laughs> anyway, Fume is an innovative, uh, innovative award-nominated device that helps you break the bad in the habit. You can still have part of it, you know, like the feel of it, the, the uh, sensation. Everything is completely natural, though. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of harmful chemicals... It uses all natural, delicious flavors. Instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy, and it makes replacing your bad habit an awful lot easier. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial. It's designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving you, you know, your fingers something to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety. But it breaks the bad part of your habit. Join fume in accelerating humanity's break- breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today go to tryfume.com use the promo code unleashed to save 10 percent when you get the journey pack today that's try f-u-m tryfume.com promo code unleashed to save an additional 10 percent off your order pat gray
Welcome. 888 Pat Unleashed on Twitter. As we continue to try to sort through the primary process, this is when we find the best candidate for the general election. And so there is a sorting process. And we talk about the various issues involving each of these candidates. And it really hacks some people off. But I think it's an important process to go through. Uh, we need somebody who's going to put back together this nation because it's been uh, separated like crazy. We need a uniter now. We need somebody with good policies, not Marxist policies. Time to put a stop to all of that. So during this process, who is that person? And, you know, with all that DeSantis has done in Florida, what is the you know main issue that is bothering people who are massive Trump supporters. I mean, what do you hate about Ron DeSantis? I I frankly think he's really good. He's one of the three that I'm considering, as I've said before. He, Ramaswamy, and Trump. So, um, we're looking for your thoughts on him. 888 uh, 933 Let's go to Julie in Illinois. Hey, Julie. Hi, Pat. Hi, Keith. Hello. I just find that I like Ron DeSantis. I loved him as governor. Mm -hmm. But when he gets on the stage, it's like he's scripted. And that's what throws me. It's like, just be yourself. Just let these candidates be themselves. It's like you you can tell when he's going to say something. You could tell what he's going to say. um, Where Trump comes off. Now, I didn't vote for Trump the first time either. uh, But he got my vote the second time. Mm Um, and I was very much considering Ron DeSantis until I just you just see what he's going to say, when he's going to say it, where Trump comes out and he says what's on his mind. And mm-hmm. if it bothers people, hey, well, so be it. And that's how DeSantis was when he was governor. He mm-hmm. would shut down the media. He did his job. Yeah. He did what he had to do. And now it's like he's just playing like like what as rehearsed. And that's what they all do. Um, I can't stand Nikki Haley. She's out. Um, mm-hmm. And so it's, you know, I, Vivek, I um, like, but I just don't think he has it. Um, and I think Trump would literally clean house. But I do think DeSantis would, too. I just think they need to leave him be himself. Yeah. But right now for somebody... you, it's pre- presentation over policies, for instance. Well, oh God, I love Ron DeSantis' policies. They're yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's just that he just seems so stiff up there, mm. and it's just like he's not being himself. They're not letting him be himself. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, Julie. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I can understand where you're coming from. Um, I'm not sure that Trump's, eh, so to speak, everything he's done so far <laughs> while he's been in office as governor, though, and I, I think he'd, I think he'd have... You know, a, a shot to be a really great president. I think the strongest uh, case against DeSantis that I've heard to this point is that we need, we're in a time where we especially need strong governors. Mm-hmm. And Ron DeSantis fits mm-hmm. that bill. And you don't want to get where, where you have strong governors in place uh, to, to push back against the federal apparatus, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that's, uh, that's where you need a strong governor like a Ron DeSantis. I mean, that... That's that I think is the strongest case uh, against him. Actually, ironically enough, uh, let's go to Jennifer in Florida. Hey, Jennifer, you're on. Yes. You're on the blaze. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, Keith. Mm-hmm. Uh, Long time listener, first time caller. Um, <laughs> I, I'm a Florida native, lifetime Florida resident, and my thoughts on on the candidates, you know, Trump versus DeSantis. I too, like the previous caller love what DeSantis has done in the state as our governor. Uh Um, The first thing to kind of get under my skin, he wouldn't necessarily commit to finishing his term as governor before throwing his hat in the ring. My fear is that um, he won't be able to do what what the things Trump could do uh, in the nationwide, in the nationwide uh, atmosphere. Uh, I would love to see DeSantis, you know, have held out this term and gone in 28. Let Trump have this, finish Mm -hmm. the kind of things he started, You know, I love what DeSantis has done as a governor, but I'm just not sure that he can have the impact that Trump did at this moment in time. Okay, but you're not you're not hugely 
pissed off that he's running or um, you don't dislike him. You you like what he's done. You just don't think it's the time for him. That's correct. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Jennifer. Appreciate it. Uh, Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three with your thoughts. We've got Hillary coming up uh, to give us an update on uh, some issues. We'll get to her, but we're going to come back to your calls uh, as well in just a few minutes. First, uh, let me tell you about Beam Organics. You know, sleeping less than six to seven hours per night, that's linked to reduced white blood cell count. Uh, white blood cells protect our body against illness and disease. They fight bacteria and viruses and all kinds of things. So let me introduce you to Beam Dream. You know, we've been uh, raving about Beam Dream's powder. They're healthy hot cocoa for sleep. And today, because you're our listener, you get a special discount on Beam's Dream Powder. They're best-selling healthy hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. Right now, uh, it's available in delicious seasonal flavors, too, like cinnamon, cocoa, sea salt caramel, and white chocolate peppermint. Better sleep has never tasted better. A recent clinical study revealed Dream helped 93% of users wake up more refreshed, and 93% reported that Dream helped them get a more restful night's sleep. Really important. If you want to try Beam's best-selling Dream Powder, take advantage of their biggest sale of the year right now. Uh, You'll get up to 50% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash pat. The discount is auto-applied at checkout. You don't have to even use a code. So that's shopbeam, B-E-A-M dot com, shopbeam.com slash pat to get up to 50% off. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Okay, uh, we're going to get to your calls. If you're on hold, hang on. Uh, first, we wanted to touch base with Hillary Kennedy from HillaryKennedy.com. Of course, a four minute buzz. Um, and uh, I guess there was a UFC situation this weekend. Plus, uh, there's something interesting with the Macy's Day Parade. Yes. So did you guys ever watch that? Oh, I watch it every year. Every year? Yeah. Okay. It's kind oh, of yeah. a tradition it's a for tradition. most families, right? Mm-hmm. Well, so this year there may be about 20,000 or more or less people watching. Really? Because there's a petition that's being signed uh, that is against the non-binary and transgender extravaganza plan <laughs> for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. There's nowhere to escape from this. Nowhere. I mean, I mean nothing is just, safe. It's in your face every single day, all day. Well, and that's why the organization One Million Moms, it's a conservative mm-hmm. advocacy group created by the American Family Association. They're the ones saying, hey, this kick off to the holiday season All it's going to do is expose the liberal LGBTQ agenda to all the viewers, and we're not having it this year. Mm -hmm. So they've got over 20,000 signatures with people saying, hey, we're going to boycott this if you don't make some changes. And it's particularly focusing Mm -hmm. on there's a non-binary singer named Justin David Sullivan who goes by the pronouns he, she, they. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. That's such an odd combination of pronouns. uh, And then also uh, another performer, Alex Newell, a biological male who also identifies as non-binary and goes by he, she, they. (laughs) Beautiful. So they will both be part of the entertainment and Macy's has done this oh before. They've had one or two transgender performers. In fact, I I didn't let my mm. son watch it. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before because it had like a sort of a drag show portion. Mm. So people are finally saying like enough is enough. And mm. I at the end of the article about this, I just wanted to see the comments. If people were for this, against this, overwhelmingly the comments were in agreement. I don't want to let my kid watch it. This is supposed to just be yeah. pure family entertainment. Why does it have to be focused on this? But one person said, shame on Macy's for promoting and sponsoring this type of entertainment. It's clear that Macy's does not have our children's best interest in mind. Macy's needs to know Mm. our trust must be earned. And once trust is lost, it's difficult to get back. And someone also said Macy's is trying to be the next target, right? Because, I mean, Target has not done well this year. So they said Macy's is trying to be the next target. 
Target still hasn't recovered from collapsed sales after they decided to get involved with hot button issues that <laughs> alienated a chunk of their customers. What business schools teach these businesses that losing their customers is the way to go? go People don't question. need Macy's. There are so many other options. Right, yeah. And it's not that we hate trans people. I, if you want to you know, dress up or if you think you're a, a woman when you're a man, whatever, I don't care. I just don't need it in my face, in my family's face, every single day. That's yeah. really what it is, that they are pushing yeah. that agenda. Stop I... with the agenda. And, yeah. and these companies are learning the hard way, go woke, go broke. But a fun little uh, thing guys can do, um, uh, Thanksgiving morning before your kids wake up, you take the plug out the back of your TV, and so you kind of loosen it, so it's still kind of connected, <laughs> but it's not really connected. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then they go, hey, Dad, the TV's not working. Uh, and you go, oh, dang it. Well, oh, yeah, well. then you make a big show in front of the <laughs> wife, and you're like, oh, Black Friday's tomorrow. Uh, I'm thinking I need a new TV. It's a two. You keep your kids protected from harm and you get a new TV the next morning. It's a good idea. Excellent plan. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So just wanted to let you know about that. If you want to sign the petition, you can. It's over at One Million Moms. And then uh, I thought this was fascinating. We've been hearing a lot about AI and how hard it is to tell the difference with deep fakes and things like that. So they started doing studies to see like how real does AI actually come across to us online? Oh. Mm. And they pretty did real. Ex- yeah, they they absolutely Even have found better. out that we are horrible at distinguishing between real and fake. Mm. There was a study of 124 residents in the U.S. aged 18 to 50. They were shown 100 real faces and 100 AI faces, <laughs> and four out of the five faces judged as human were actually AI. Oh. Wow. So, and then four out of the five faces wow. judges AI uh, most often were actually human. I think if you're watching, we do have a, a picture of all the different faces. Oh, wow. Okay. So oh, take okay. a look and see, see if you can just guess, give like, let's look at number one. Do you think that's real or do you think that's AI? Uh, I think that's real. What about you, Pat? I think it's real. Looks real. So that's AI. Oh gosh, jeez. Um, what about number two? AI. Mm-hmm. I think AI. Real. It is real. Good job, Pat. <laughs> okay. Um, let's look at number four. There's four. A, yeah. Uh, that looks uh, like AI. I'm going to say AI. Which means it's real. That is AI. Okay. So it is, it's really tricky to try and figure out. I'm which just is guessing, which. though. I, I mean, to me, they look, they all look real. Uh huh. They Don't do. they? They yeah. all look real. Yeah. I think, uh, I think, uh, eight. Uh, let's see. What is she? Nine. She looks fake. You think so? Yeah. Is what, nine fake? What, what, number you know? nine is human. <laughs> see. Okay. So it's really tough. And and basically what this study is saying is now we're going to have to rely on computers to tell us which is the real, which is the fake, because humans cannot tell the difference, which is crazy. And there was a a photographer on Instagram who was Hmm. posting these beautiful black and white portraits and writing captions about the people that he'd photographed, except these are not photographs. These are AI generated. These aren't real people. That looks totally real. yeah. Yeah. It's Jeez. bizarre. So he came clean and said he was he got like twenty thousand followers very quickly, and so he said, "I just wow. I want to come clean. These are actually AI generated that All I created." Of them. She is too. Yes, that's completely fake photo. Good grief. To his point, though, he <laughs> said, "I don't know why people are upset about this because he said a regular photograph that photographers take or that you see in magazines, it's been photoshopped." People have makeup on. Right, right. Many yeah, times they've true. had plastic surgery. That's also not, quote, real. Mm. So he was saying, you know, we've been looking at false photographs this entire time. What's the difference? Mm. I, I don't know. You'd be the judge. Well, the difference is what you can eventually do with all of this. Right. And it's kind of frightening because they could make you look like you're doing something nefarious when you're not. Right. Yeah. I mean, how do we know? Well, celebrities have even gotten involved with this because they are now... They're trying to figure out how to navigate these waters. Uh, Lionel Messi, the soccer player, he allowed PepsiCo to license a an AI image of him oh, wow. in a Lay's advertisement. Mm. But it kind of so it opens up new opportunities for celebrities to be involved in things without having to physically be there. But then oh, for wow. people who don't know how to negotiate those waters, you mm. could be exploited very easily. You could sign the, yep. the rights away to your likeness forever, right. not really understanding what you're doing. But there are AI influencers now that have huge followings online. Oh, no. So completely fake people. I mean, these are not based oh, on a real person. Gosh. And wow. marketing agencies are using these influencers because they're very cost effective. Mm-hmm. They never age. Right. They don't have to worry about them being involved in scandals. 
I mean, there's just all these benefits <laughs> that these marketing companies are finding. And we have a YouTube Amazing. clip of an AI influencer, if we have time for it. She's okay. interviewing a real musician, but it's an AI influencer doing this. Oh, boy. What's up? It's Michaela here with YouTube Music at Coachella, and I'm joined by Jay Balvin. Thank Hi. you. Thank you, Michaela. Thanks nice to meet you. you. Finally. Nice you too. I've been looking for you everywhere, but I just, it's hard to see you. <laughs> all right. Oh, let's just get right into this. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I know Nirvana holds a special place in your heart. Yeah. So, um, I even got a tattoo here. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I wanted to know, what do you think grunge and so with this have clip, in common? You, you can, what? if the you're able to see it, <laughs> yeah. you can tell that this you AI influencer is yeah, not that's real. Right. And this was from 2019. Oh so this my. was from several years ago. Mm. But they, she has just continued to grow in popularity. She's been on like most influential lists for oh all the different magazines and newspapers and has Can, like millions of followers. Let me ask you a question that you may not have the answer to. Is she responding to his answer? In other words, if he says something out of the blue, is she going to be able to come up with a, a in real time? Why or are these all yes. pre-programmed? Yeah. Questions? Yeah. Okay, really? They have a getting... program to have an actual conversation, <sighs> just the way that ChatGPT wow. does when you're typing things in oh, and asking yeah, sure. it questions. Okay, I don't like it. So Incredible. I don't it's, like it. it's a pretty scary thing. And also, I mean, that's why they're saying for parents, don't post photos of your children online because mm. people can take the faces of your child and put it on oh boy. photographs that are inappropriate or... It's a brave new world. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of uh, celebrity deep fake pornography out there as well, which is becoming oh, problematic. Uh, we're seeing a lot of it on OnlyFans, which leads me to can one they last sue? thing. Do they sue do the celebrities who are depicted in these deep fakes? Can, can you sue somebody for this? I believe that you can. The problem is tracking it all down, I trying suppose, to find yeah. out who's responsible. Right. I mean, yeah. that, that's really tricky. It's the same tricky. problem with, uh, like, Bill O'Reilly has left his job to sell facial cream. It's that, <laughs> it's that whole thing. And you can never find the people. We've talked to Bill about that right. before. Right. Uh, and you can never find them. Yeah. They're gone by the time you try to do anything I mean, about it. half the time they're in some other country. Yeah. They're, you know, they're in Bangkok somewhere behind a computer screen. Yep. And you have no idea who it is. Well, you, started, you started to segue into an Only OnlyFans thing. Yes, because we're seeing a lot of this AI-generated <laughs> stuff on OnlyFans. I came across the uh, uh, Atlanta Hawks new OnlyFans-themed promo video. And <laughs> I, I want to get Keith's take on this since he's an Atlanta guy. Okay. Only Hawks fans know where the real action is. Only Hawks fans know what they really want to see. And only uh, Hawks fans know just where to get it. Oh, no. What's that? Harry, <laughs> Harry the Hawk or something? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, wait. The all-new NBA in-season tournament. <laughs> Join in and wake up your wild side. Hot five on five action. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thoughts, Keith? Yeah. <laughs> Hot or not? <laughs> <laughs> Better than basketball? Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, that's, uh, he got, they got some crap for that, they didn't did. they? Did they? That's too bad. Yeah. That's kind of I funny. mean, even Hot some of their five players. On five action. Their, some of their players weren't into it either, right? They were like, please yeah, take this yeah, down. Yeah, delete this yeah. now. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, no, that's, uh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, whatever. I mean, <laughs> what? I don't even know what to say. We anymore. give up now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the world's yeah. too out of control. <laughs> it's out of control. All right, Hillary, thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, Appreciate it. You. We'll watch for you on the five minute buzz and hillarykennedy.com. It's a four minute buzz. Oh, did I, I say mean, five? Don't make it have a did do I, extra I minute. I gave you an extra minute. I, I, yeah. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> four minute buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Might be too early to start decorating for the holidays, but it's never too early to start your holiday shopping. Why not take care of it right now before the crowds? And packed calendars make shopping a total nightmare, especially when you can get some of the best deals of the season right now before Black Friday. You can shop Raycon products right now and save up to 50% off. You don't have to wait till the day after Thanksgiving. You've heard me talk about Raycon's products before. I really love their everyday earbuds. They're known for delivering high quality and really thoughtful features like a 32-hour battery life and perfect inner fit for all day wearing and lasting comfort one of the things i appreciate most because there's nothing worse than wearing earbuds and they keep falling out of your ears their five star reviewed magic 180 cable allows you to charge ios uh, micro usb and type c devices eight times faster with a hundred watt power delivery they're the best i mean they sound great they look great. They don't have that stick hanging out your ears. It's, they're just, they're awesome. So 
When do you use your Raycons? What do you listen to? To get everyone in the holiday shopping spirit uh, a bit early, Raycon is currently offering 20% off everything on their site with select products up to 50% off. So beat the crowds and save right now. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on Raycon's early Black Friday sale. Hurry in now. And uh, to go to, you don't have to in, actually go in anywhere. Just go to buyraycon.com slash gray. And you'll get 20 to 50% off site-wide. That's B-U-Y, buyraycon.com slash gray. And get up to 50% off your Raycon products. Buyraycon.com slash gray. <laughs> This is Pat Gray Unleashed. All right. Talking about your thoughts on Ron DeSantis. He really hasn't gotten a lot of traction so far. And uh, we're kind of wondering what the deal is. Yeah, like why? Why? What, what do we have? Um, what, what do you have against uh, Ron DeSantis? And, mm-hmm. and so far we've heard who's backing him. He comes across as too scripted. Mm-hmm. And he's not committed to Florida. That's, that's what we've okay. heard so far. Uh, Chris in Michigan. Hi, you're on the blaze. Hey, guys. Hey. I am sitting here pulling my hair out and screaming in my office at these people. <laughs> they don't like DeSantis because he talks weird. Have they heard Trump talk? <laughs> and they also, they also don't like who he associates with. Uh-huh. Have you seen who Trump associates with? Yeah. I know. People are killing me. Killing I me. know. Ah! <laughs> I, want to vote. I seriously cannot take these people. I, I, I don't know what the cult is with Trump, but we've got a perfect mm. candidate, and they want to back a guy that all he does is name call. Come, come on. Seriously? Yeah, it's it's interesting. I appreciate it, Chris. Thanks. I, I have found the Trump phenomenon interesting since 2015. Um, but I will say, in 16, 17, 18, and 19, uh, I was kind of convinced that he was, you know, he did a good job. But you're right. I mean, he has some of the f- same foibles that they're citing uh, with Ron DeSantis. Although he is outspoken, he's outspoken. He he doesn't. He certainly doesn't sound scripted. Um, there are some interesting issues that are popping up right now where he's confusing who's president. Supposedly, it's happened at least seven times. That does concern me a little bit. I mean, you know, we talk about Biden all the time. If the same thing is happening to Trump, I'm worried about it. You know. Uh, seven times he's at least he's mixed up Obama with Biden. So I, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's just, you know, his spontaneity and I don't know. He's used to talking about Obama because he did in 2015. I, I don't know. Uh, all right, let's go to Marvin in Arkansas. Hey, Marvin, you're on the blaze. Hey, Pat, Keith, hey. good morning this morning and the morning this morning, your morning, my morning, your morning, our morning. Good and morning. How's your day going so far? Mm, uh, and, well, great. Thank you. Thank you. I was really curious. Um, so uh, <laughs> first off, just like many, many people, I could not vote for Trump in 16. Mm-hmm. I just couldn't do it. But I could not wait to vote for him in 2020. Right. That being said, I'm so afraid of what these Democrats, controlled states are going to do to keep him off the ballot. Me too. So I hate to see him win the primary and then he can't be on the ballot and even without shenanigans, he has no chance to get to 270. Mm-hmm. So my vote is going for DeSantis. And other than that, I will vote for anybody but Biden. Well, mm. let me rephrase that. Nikki Haley, no, I'm sorry, not, not going to happen. And the fake Ramaswamy, <laughs> he will not come on your show and answer the important <laughs> questions. Yeah. America needs to know. So uh, that's about it. I will vote for anybody but Biden or a Democrat. And so mm-hmm. that throws old, uh, what's his face there? Uh, what's his, oh, the. I, I, I'm running for president, too. Uh, no, no, no. You're a Democrat, and you always was a Democrat, and you'll always be a Democrat. You can call yourself an independent all you want, and I don't care how your voice sounds either. <laughs> but no. So is Audrey Hepburn running for president? <laughs> Thanks, Marvin. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Well, that's that's was that the first thing we brought up with him? RFK? Yeah. Can a man who sounds like that become president? I don't know. I mean, Americans I don't know. are, I mean, it, it, let's be honest. We're superficial. We're very shallow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
Uh, Lori in New Mexico, you're on the blaze. Hi. Hey, guys. This is Lori hey. Um, I have two words. Screw boomers. Just screw mm. boomers. Because I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, this generation has absolutely effed up this nation more than they could mm. possibly imagine. Um, Keith, you and I know what it's like to actually live under this. We're going to have to be the ones that take care of these people because <laughs> we're <laughs> taking care of these people right now. I'm sorry. We just are. Um, and you have a Nana. I don't. Um, I have... Uh, I I have just gotten so sick and tired of being told what I'm supposed to do by a generation that screwed up what my grandparents did. My grandparents did every single thing right. They won World War II. They came home. They took care of their parents. And then my, uh, however, whatever they did, whatever my parents did, it's like they turned into Forrest Gump. My parents turned into the movie Forrest Gump. And, and that's what Gen X has lived under, and it's ridiculous. And who so are they is, supporting in your mind, Lori? My parents? Yeah. They're dead. Okay, um, <laughs> but but the boomers. Boomers are supporting Trump. Is that your allegation? Well, boomers are supporting Trump because he shows strength. Yeah. And strength through, through World War II, through, through Vietnam. It, it, he supports America first. However, screw boomers. I want... DeSantis so bad, mm. so bad. He's younger than me. He's three years younger than me. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I just did. Um, <laughs> he he actually sees what's going on. He's done something. He's our generation. He's not a boomer. He mm. fixed freaking Florida. Mm-hmm. But in the act, he's saying something. Or, yeah, yeah. He's 45 years old, and he can fix Florida. Give him. The White House, and yes, I am a little bit politically connected to that campaign, but whatever. Um, I, I, I have such a belief in him, having met him in person. He is a good man. He is not a charismatic man. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what he's struggling with. Um, Je- Jesse Kelly says it very, very well. He, he's not good in a room, but he's good when he's on his job. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, Lori. Um, as a person on the edge of the boomer generation, um, <laughs> you offended? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little, a little bit. Um, because I'm not, I'm not all about Trump, uh, and I like Ron DeSantis. So I, I'm not sure if the implication is that everybody from that generation supports Trump. Uh, but uh, you know, I haven't made up my mind yet, frankly. Uh, Kate in Pennsylvania. Hi, you're on the blaze. Hey, good morning, guys. Morning. How are you guys today? <laughs> We're really good. I'm glad you asked. I'm, mi- I'm a miserable um, human being. Because I can sense I'm that so you really that care. You. <laughs> yeah. Yes, All right. I do. That's why I asked. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. Real quickly for you. Uh, 2016, I had to basically hold my nose to vote. Not because I, I just didn't care for Trump. <clears throat> um, I was more a Ted Cruz person. Mm-hmm. And... I didn't definitely didn't want Hillary. So I dragged myself to the polls at the last minute and made the end. <laughs> mm. And uh, 2020, I couldn't wait to vote for Trump. But I think these Trump supporters need to really examine what they potentially could be electing. First of all, his age is a factor. Hey, mm. I'm closer to his age than I am Ron DeSantis's, and I'm a boomer, Lori, so there. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Uh, but I, I mean, I would vote for Ron DeSantis based on and Nikki Haley. No way, no way, no way. Um, I think mm-hmm. Trump is going to be tied up with nothing but trials and in and out of court. Even if he doesn't go to jail, he'll be in and out of court for the next year and a half. And then once those are over, they're going to find other reasons to drag him into court because they don't want him there. Yeah. And I, I really think DeSantis is our future. He can give us eight where Trump can only give us four, and we've got to go through all this crap all over again. That's a good point. Thanks, Kate. Appreciate it. You're uh, welcome. Uh, let's go to Richard in Florida. Richard, you're on the blaze. Hi. Yes, sir. How are you all doing this morning? Good. Um, I, I, I've lived here for 20 years. I've been through the Rich Scott governorship. I've been through the Ron DeSantis governorship. And um, we had an island with this last hurricane that literally the bridge was blown off of this foundation. 500 feet of bridge was replaced within 24 hours. These people were driving across the bridge in the Gulf of Mexico. 
Mm-hmm. He's a very prepared, very well prepared man. But with that being said, Donald Trump is a very, very successful businessman, and he's successful because he is used to adversary and and, and, and confrontation, and he's successful in those types of situations. The only thing is, I kind of look at it like an alley you. I was like, Trump to key it up for four years, and DeSantis to take it over. But don't know, they, you know that's a dream. But it's just, I think Ron DeSantis will be a great president. I just yeah. don't think he's prepared for his leg to be chopped out from underneath of it. Appreciate it. Thanks, Richard. Uh, we're out of time, but uh, I think we're going to carry this over into overtime. Yeah, we are. So just hang in there with us for a minute. Uh, and we'll get to your call in just a few minutes here because uh, I'm I'm interested in your thoughts. So are you sure we can do this with uh, with Glenn? Sh- yeah? Okay. All right. 888 Get in now, and we'll get to you on uh, overtime coming up here in just a few minutes. We'll see you right back here tomorrow for Pack Ray Unleashed. But overtime is next. This is Pat Gray Unleashed.